All right, guys, so Coach Joe, or should I say Retro Joe. This channel may be taking a turn that none of you guys, not even myself, are ready for, but I'm just trying to have more fun, also deliver good content, educational, entertaining, informative, fun stuff. Uh, so in this training session, we are going to do some flexion rows, it's Flex Friday, baby. And then we're gonna go into some wide grip lap pull downs. After that, we have close grip bench. And then we have a giant set, which is gonna include some seated dumbbell overhead, uh, some face pulls, some push downs, and just a crazy set of close grip push ups till failure. Uh, so this is the last day of training. It's also the last week of this mesocycle, so I'm pushing really hard. Hopefully, gonna have like a deload week next week and then hit it again. I'm also cutting. So this is week four of a 15 week cut. Uh, so far, I started at 270. Two, and right now I'm about 258. So by the end of this, we're hoping to look freaky, shredded. I'm talking a hopper from Stranger Things, trying to bring the stash, the anabolic stash, with the gains. It's gonna be a good time. I'm excited, so let's get to it. All right, you trying to look like a freaking Ninja Turtle? Doing the back, the size of Donatello? Then you do flexion rows. If you don't do flexion rows, you're a loser in life. It's as simple as that. All right, one of my favorite back exercises of all time, introduced to me by Dr. Mike. I've made other videos on this in the past, which I'll link above, is gonna be flexion rows, okay? I really like doing flexion rows uh, because they are awesome for just growing uh, the size and thickness of the back, okay? And we're specifically gonna hit the erectors, which just transfers over to a lot of things in straw man training, strength training, um, and I get just a fabulous pump uh, from these. So give these a shot. Yes, freaking blood is in my back right now. So like right here and here. I can't even reach back there. I would fail the physical fitness test in freaking elementary school. All right, so now hitting the next movement uh, to build more of that width of the back, we're gonna do some wide grip pull downs. All right, so obviously when we're doing those flexion rows, we're hitting the middle of the back, that upper back, but when we take our grip out wider, okay, we're growing those wings, we're growing those lats. So it's gonna give us that X factor or that big V look that a lot of bodybuilders have. Uh, and that's aesthetically something that I'm trying to go for. My waist naturally is gonna be a little bit bigger because of all the compound lifts that I've been doing for years and years. So in order to visually make my physique look better, I have to keep growing uh, how wide my back is to look proportional. All right, so when it comes to the workout movements, sets and reps, we're doing four total sets, okay, for all of these, right? We're pushing hard, it's the end of the mesocycle for myself. And we wanna have between 12 and 15 reps, okay? Trying to push towards the higher end. So that first set, I want to get more of that 12 to 15 rep range. And then by fatigue naturally setting in, our reps are gonna progressively drop each set. Now, a lot of you guys ask me, how long should I rest between sets? So for me, there's just a quick checklist. One is my heart rate low enough so that it's not gonna be a limiting factor in my working sets. All right, so I let that calm down probably two and a half, three minutes. The second thing is mentally, am I prepared to hit the set, okay? So if mentally I'm not into it or I'm still exhausted from the previous set and just kind of, you know, not up there uh, ready to go, I'll wait a little bit longer. And then lastly, it's gonna be, can I at least get six to seven reps in my next set? Okay, we're looking for hypertrophy here, so we're definitely trying to be in that five plus rep range uh, when it comes to growing uh, the muscle size. All right, third movement on tap is gonna be a close grip bench variation. So uh, naturally I have very strong triceps, so I do like this exercise, uh, but I am trying to press at least three times per week. So earlier in the week, we have regular bench, we have incline bench. So this is gonna be our third bench variation, which is gonna be that close grip. Uh, trying to keep those elbows as tight as possible and really focusing on just good technique, good form, controlling the movement nice and smoothly and targeting those triceps and the chest uh, as best as possible. All right guys, so last part of this workout, I'm actually short on time. So what I decided to do instead of skipping anything is just turn it into a giant set. So uh, we're gonna do an overhead press, which we're just doing seated overhead with dumbbells. Uh, the weeks prior, I was doing about 80 to 100 pounds. Uh, since I'm keeping a giant set, the weight's gonna be a little bit low. So I actually did uh, 60 or 65 here, and I'm just cranking out as many reps as I can until basically failure. Um, from then, moving on over to uh, a push down, we use the straight bar push down. Uh, so I'm hitting a bunch of reps with that. And then moving over to some face pulls and then finishing up with some close grip push ups. So, if you guys are looking one to get in a lot of work in a short amount of time, you can just turn this into a giant set and, and bang out these exercises. But just getting a crazy pump uh, and just hitting all those little uh, muscle groups. And that was what I did uh, for this ending part. 
Got to act dramatic. Got to act dramatic. All right, guys. So I know I clicked a video. I clicked a video because it says gyno in the title because you guys all want this freaking talk about gear and all these taboo things in the fitness industry. Well, I'm gonna let you know a little bit of a secret, all right? I have gyno. And I'm gonna tell you why, because a lot of you guys are like, oh, we talked about gear, it's gotta be the gear. And I'm actually gonna tell you that it's not. So long story short, Coach Joe, when he was a youngin, little baby Coach Joe, uh, was a chubster. He was thick. And back then, thick was not a cool term like it is today. Thick meant you didn't get the girls. Thick meant you ran a 13 minute and 30 second mile. Thick meant you were picked last on the recess yard. And when I was thick, I was tired of living that life. So in, I think it was like a summer, I lost 25 pounds and I started playing sports and changed my life around, okay? So point being is, once I started playing middle school sports, I started wrestling. And when I was wrestling, right, I lost all this weight. I looked a lot different, a lot better. Uh, obviously wrestling is a physical sport, right? And you're, you're kind of body to body with, with another individual. I started feeling this pain in my chest, specifically in my nipple region. And I was kind of like, whoa, this is kind of weird. And it just persistently was annoying me. So I went to my doctor and he had sent me to the endocrinologist. When I went to the endocrinologist, they had said, you have this thing called gynecomastia. And when you're 13 years old, maybe 14, you've never even heard of this term before. You don't even know what's going on. But basically what they say is because your hormones, right? You're going through puberty. You've also have lost a significant amount of weight in a short amount of time, right? That caused a little bit of an imbalance. You now have this thing gyno. It's basically like a ball, like a marble kind of feel it and it was it was sensitive and it hurt well anyway I went to the endocrinologist right and uh, by that point they had helped me out a little bit to alleviate the uh, soreness and the pain but I still had some tissue there okay and to this day I've never gotten surgery to remove it or right? it hasn't been something that's been you know enough of a bother me that much but I know some of you awesome people on YouTube's like to comment on my chest and I'm gonna tell you that I'm just tired of it Okay, I'm tired of it and really it's just annoying. So I wanted to address it with you guys uh, because maybe you guys have a similar issue and this wasn't you, or a cause of uh, anabolic use or anything like that. I've had this since I was a kid. Maybe at some point down the road I would get it removed. It really isn't an issue to me. I don't really care that much. Uh, but since you guys have commented and said stuff and made comments about it, I figured I'd address the issue because this video and this channel is just uh, me being vulnerable, sharing my story with you guys. I know someone else out there probably was struggling with the same thing, so here to help you. But other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the workout. Hope you enjoyed the knowledge. Maybe you're trying these workouts on your own. Like I said, we're going into week five of this cut out of 15 weeks. Hopefully you're following me along using these tips in your training. You guys better be subscribed to the channel. You guys also better be members of The Iron Lions Facebook group. So go on Facebook in the search bar, type in The Iron Lions. Ask to join the group, we will admit you in. And basically it's a really cool tight-knit community uh, where we do form checks, we do articles, we uh, just drop tons of information and knowledge in there that we'd love to have you guys a part of it. And there's also zatstrength.net, which is our content hub and platform with our podcasts, our uh, more articles that we put out there, all of our programs for sale. And when you guys buy those programs, it supports uh, my livelihood and the people who help create this place, the lion's den, right? We have a lot of coaches and people that you met and support the members as well, so it really means a lot. There's some cool things coming out in the future, uh, maybe some sort of way that you guys can train with me on the daily. Uh, what I mean by that is maybe an app or a website that's gonna be uh, premium for members only who wanna join. I'm excited about that. Other than that, guys, stay lean, mean, strength machine. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.